My hair is doing all types of things because I just like did my hair last night and I slept. Uh, but my curls are looking pretty good. Whenever I don't know what to use but I want my hair to look good, I either use the Biogeo Curl Charisma Styling Products or from the drugstore, the Blueberry Bliss products from curls. Enough about my hair. Today I actually have a little haul to share with you guys. I ordered eight sunscreens. Not like I need any more. Like literally in front of me I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like nine sunscreens that I open at the moment or ten. I don't know but I have a lot of sunscreens because I've been reviewing them a lot on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me there, every week I am doing a reel where I show the application, the texture, and then in the description I go into detail about everything you need to know about that sunscreen. And that way it's much easier for you guys to pick and choose which sunscreen is best for you. But I ordered 8 sunscreens from YesStyle yesterday. I know it's a lot. And no wait, I ordered from two days ago and I already got it today, which is crazy because usually with Asian sites such as YesStyle and Joel's, you have to wait like three to four weeks. You kind of forget that you even placed the order and then once you get it, you're like, oh, surprise, I forgot about this. And the first one that I got is my most expensive one, especially because of the size. This one was more expensive than all of these. I think it ended up being like 20 something dollars. And this one is only 20 grams, which is less, or 20 ml, which is less than one fluid ounce. And for reference, I have this one from Shiseido. This one is 30 ml, so it's more than this one. And I got this one because one of my clients showed me this one and let me swatch it, and it was amazing. Super milky, lightweight, beautiful glow, but not heavy. And this one is from Anessa. This is their Perfect UV Sunscreen Skincare Milk. Yeah, and that's the first sunscreen. This one has an SPF 50 with 4 PA with PA4 pluses. After that, I got two of the same brand. One is a waterproof sunscreen, one is just a regular version, and it's from Suncut. This one's the Aquali UV Protect Gel, SPF 50, PA4 pluses, and this is their waterproof version, also SPF 50 plus with four PA pluses. These are huge. When I ordered them, I didn't know they were gonna be this big. As you can see, I, I don't check the grams or the ML or the flow downs before I purchase things. They decided to not get the one with the pump because I assumed that one, that one would bring more product. And instead I got the regular version, but you can see it's, they're really big. And these bring 100 grams. Not sure what the conversion is for that, but sounds like a lot, looks like a lot. I've seen that these leave a very glowy finish and that might be more tailored for dry skin types, but we shall see. My skin right now is more on the normal side. It's just, you know, normal, nothing exciting. In the summer, I do get a little bit more combination and I do wanna try this before my skin does get a little bit oilier. I will keep you updated and the next two sunscreens are going to be the ones that I got the pump versions of and this is 140 grams. This is the Nivea Sun Water Gel. After I purchased it today, I went online and I saw they have a super one which has SPF 50 instead of SPF 35 and this one only has three pluses but all good. I'm excited for this one especially for the body because a pump is really really convenient for the body the first time that i use this i'm going to pump out the two fingers and see how many pumps it takes me to get two fingers and then from then on i don't have to measure it that way i can just squeeze it out and i'm good to go and then another pump one that i got was the skin aqua spf 50 plus pa four pluses right here and so it's also in a pump, 140 grams, and it's huge. There is a list online where they tested some Japanese sunscreens to see if they meant the actual SPF rating that's on the label, and someone told me that this one might not be um, like SPF 50, so I have to find it and see, but if anything, I'm still gonna try it out, I'm still gonna use it up, and great value. Three left, okay. So I'm gonna start off with the Verdio. Essence they had the essence and they have the gel version and I saw that the gel version has some physical filters And I saw a review online and left the white cast. So I'm like, I'm not even gonna bother because I am already ordering so much I just want to order things that I I know I might like because I did spend my own money on this and this is again their UV moisture essence SPF 50 plus PA 4 pluses and in terms of grams. This is 50 grams, which is usually the like the norm Compared to this little baby, that's 20 grams. 
it's okay. I'll bring this one on vacation with me. But yeah, I'm really excited about this one too. And then we have another one in a similar type of packaging. And this is the Kiss Me Mommy SPF 50 PA 4 Pluses. Honestly, if they have got PA 4 Pluses, I don't want it. I know I got some that don't have it, but this is obviously like the optimal amount that I would like for UVA coverage. And this one is 50 grams as well. So I feel like I got most of my sunscreens in the same type of category. So I got like two of these that are more of the soft tube packaging. I got these two which are the same but different versions i got two pump ones i got two tiny ones because i do have another tiny one but yeah kiss me mommy i don't really know much about this one i just heard good things and i don't remember what they said but i got it so i can test it out myself last but not least we also have another tiny one it's not as small as the nessa one but it's definitely smaller than the ones i previously mentioned and this one is from can make this is their mermaid skin gel uv I hope I got the clear one because I know that the white one does have a tone up effect that makes your skin look brighter and can leave a white cast but the clear one is purely chemical sunscreen so I hope I got the right one and I'm gonna actually open this one from here it's so cute honestly i'm not mad because it's just so cheap and things like this like sunscreen like this are so great for travel so I'm not that mad about the size because it is super affordable. And yeah, can you guys believe I only spent like $101 on eight sunscreens? Like US sunscreens could never, especially for that quality. I do like some US based sunscreens, but usually they are more expensive, more in like the $20 or $30 range. And these were all for the most part under $20 or $15. Some of them are less than $10. I'm really excited about these. Let me know which one you guys want me to review first or which ones you personally love because I'm excited. I'm not excited about having this many sunscreens open, but I'm excited because sunscreen is like one of my favorite steps in my skincare routine and the most important. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you guys on Sunday.